So what does a million dollars actually buy you in Oakland, California today? Let's talk about it. Hey, this is Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International coming back to you today with another What the Money Bought video in my series of what the money bought. Uh, today we're talking about the million dollar price point in Oakland, California. We're gonna look at the last four years of data from the MLS to tell us uh, what is actually selling at a million dollars from 2018, 19, 20, and now 21. That's year to date, of course, because um, it is mid-November when I am recording this. Um, but when you get some value out of this, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna continue to put out content just like this, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So what we're talking about here. What does a million dollars, that round seven figure number buy you in Oakland, California? Now, admittedly, Oakland is a really big place. There's a lot of units. You'll see in a minute, like 3,500 units or so on average sell uh, in the city, and that includes condos, townhouses, single families, all of that kind of stuff. I'm not counting duplexes, I'm not counting multifamily and land and some of that stuff. I'm talking about just the general single family things that most people would be buying uh, to live in, right? As a primary residence. And so we're gonna talk about the changes and, and how that million dollar home over just the last four years has changed drastically. Uh, for example, you used to get three and a half bedrooms almost and over two bathrooms with 1800 square feet. And today that million dollars buys you two and a half bed bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms and about uh, 1,388 square feet. Um, so you see the progression, you see what's changed, you see the dollar per square foot, the list price to sales price ratios, all of that kind of stuff, and we're gonna get into it so you can make a better informed decision when you're going out into the marketplace and trying to compete. So without any further ado, let's go check the data. All right, so let's get into this. Here's the data that I pulled from the MLS, like I said, from 2018 every year all the way till 2021 year to date, which is obviously almost over. Uh, at that million dollar price point. So what you're looking at here is homes that sold within $5,000 of a million. So uh, 995 all the way up to a million and 5,000. So what I learned from pulling this data is that um, this year so far, we've had 44 houses sell at or very close to that million mark in an average of 12 days, which is a lot faster than in 2018, which took on, on average almost a month. Um, as was consistent with Alameda, uh, the houses got smaller. You got a lot less bedrooms and bathrooms. Uh, you lost over half a be bedroom and over half a bathroom, which is fascinating, and then substantially decreased the size, the overall square footage of the home from 1855 all the way down to 1388 on average. Um, I don't give a lot to this because Oakland is a really big area and so you're pulling a lot of average ages in, um, but as you can see, the houses on average have gotten older uh, that are selling at this million dollar price point. Now this is the interesting one. A lot of people have always been asking like, what do I pay if I see it listed at this? Uh, what do I have to pay to get it? And so to buy something at that million dollar price point, today you're looking for something that's listed around 850 to 860. Uh, traditionally, that hasn't been quite the same. It's been a little bit up and down in the last couple of years. So you're seeing a little bit of a fluctuation there. But in general, everything is selling for between around that 10 to 15, in this case 16 over and a half, <clears throat> in this case 16 and a half percent over. Uh, this is an interesting one. The dollar per square foot has gone up really significantly which is expected as the size of the house goes down and the price stays the same, you're gonna pay more for that same square footage. Um, but you're seeing that if you wanna spend about a million dollars in Oakland broadly, you need to expect that you're gonna spend about $738 square foot as opposed to 568 in 2018. Interesting, it's things to pay attention to. And then these yellow markers are about the overall market uh, in general. So. What this is, is the number of total homes, total units, this includes townhouses and everything that's sold in Oakland, has actually been going up pretty consistently, which is interesting because there's a, um, especially this year, we had a huge increase in the years not even over of sold units at 3850, whereas all of 2020, 
uh, and then subsequent years before that were less than that at or 3500 mark, right? So we've sold a lot more units so far this year than any of these years past. But what we're also seeing is in total, uh, 1,553 of these units sold above the uh, million dollar mark or 40% of the market. Whereas it used to be about 25% of the market in Oakland was above a million. So you can see the raw price points are pushing up pretty substantially. And over here, what you're seeing is the breakdown of the number of units and the type of units rather that sold at that million dollar price point. And what's interesting is we have uh, the most condos have ever gone at that million dollar price point than we've had in the last three and a half or almost four years now. Um, and then you're seeing a fairly consistent number of single families as well. Um, so really what we're learning here is that a million dollars today gets you uh, roughly two and a half bedrooms, uh, one and a half bathrooms, 13, almost 1400 square feet uh, at that million dollar price point. You can expect it to be listed about $860,000 uh, and you're gonna spend 738 and it's gonna sell in 12 days. Um, and you can also suggest that you're going to be um, still in that upper tier of the market relative to all the units that sell in Oakland, but uh, you're, there's gonna be about 40% of the properties, the total units that sell, sell over you at that million dollar price point as opposed to that 26% almost um, from back in 2018. So hopefully that gives you something to chew on and, and understand, uh, and let's wrap this thing up. Hopefully you got some value out of that. Uh, I know I found that really fascinating to see how uh, much smaller the average home has gotten. I've actually done a number of videos uh, on Alameda, which I'll link to up here. And, and the same trend is true over there, although much less inventory, much, much less data, just because it's a much smaller city. Um, but the same trend happened here in Alameda, it's happening in Oakland, and now you just need to know what, if you're looking at that price point, um, that you're looking to see something listed at about 860 if you plan to spend about a million dollars. So you're gonna get that 16% uh, bump over the listed price, and you're gonna expect to get uh, roughly a two bedroom, and one and a half bathroom home uh, on average that uh, sells really fast in about 12 days. That was one that really got me as well as how much faster that million dollar price point is selling in Oakland than it used to. So anyways, hopefully you got some value out of that. Uh, and since I know you did, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna continue to put out weekly content just like this and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So without any further ado, I'm gonna log off. This is Hans Struzina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International signing off for now. See you on the next one.